Ross might be out. Taken comfortably, and that's a good catch in the deep. One run needed. This might run away to the boundary. Hello everyone, welcome to Straight Bat with Devesh. Today my guest is one of the bigger name in Canada, uh, if not the biggest name in uh, Cricket Canada. Uh, he started his career in 2008 and uh, went on to become one of the biggest hitter uh, in the history of Cricket Canada. Uh, so without much ado, uh, let me welcome uh, Mr. Rizwan Chima. Hello Rizwan, how Hello. are you? I'm good, how are you? Thanks, Thanks for, for coming to my show. Uh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Rizban, uh, let's start from the start. Yeah. So, how was your early days of cricket in Canada? Do you remember and you would like to share with us? Yeah, uh, I came here around 2000, uh, started playing cricket in the leagues. Okay. Uh, back then there was Scarborough League and then there was TND, so mm -hmm. we started playing in both. So, I was, uh, I started doing well. So okay. That's and you immigrated from Pakistan, if I'm not wrong? Yeah, I, okay. I came from Pakistan, okay. yeah, into around 2000. So you used to play there or? Yeah, always. Uh, cricket was the only thing back then. I used to play with my brothers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what level you played there? Like, you were I just a gully cricket or you went to the... Actually, I, I, I played pretty decent. Cricket. I started and then uh, um, as you know, as soon your time is to mm -hmm. get into some uh, professional cricket there, I moved. So, in early age, so then that's that's how yeah. I came here. I started mm -hmm. playing the same way I used to do it. So, you played uh, in Pakistan at certain level, uh, say school or university or what level you were playing? Like you were playing for yeah, the club? Yeah, there is club levels there. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, same um, same structure? Yeah, no, not much of uh, school cricket back okay. in Pakistan. So, this, yeah. is, this is a club cricket. It's mm -hmm. very big there. Mm -hmm. So, that's how you, you go to the first class and stuff. Okay. So that's where I, I started playing. I started okay. playing for my city and then... Uh, and which city you played? I played for Gujarat. I played okay. for Gujarat. So you belong to Gujarat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So coming from Pakistan and as you said that there is also a club structure in Pakistan. And there is a club structure and I said departmental cricket, right? Yeah. Uh, it's more or less same like Canada or uh, did you find difference? It's, it's not same because mm -hmm. uh, I think the level is obviously is better there and then yeah. uh, when you play for department is obviously you know high you level high level professional mostly mm -hmm. the players plays for national team they plays in departments and stuff so it's, okay. it's a different okay but here obviously uh, not as uh, professional as Pakistan so it's a different right. so coming back to your career like you started your career in ODI in 2008 your debut match was against uh, uh, Kenya or? I started yeah in 2008 uh, yeah. against the, mm, the first game was against Bermuda and then West Bermuda, Indies was West in Indies. the same. Uh, and you did West a good job, 94 was your highest if I'm not Yeah, wrong. I was actually uh, was a man of the series in the first deb on oh, my debut good. series. Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, West Indies there, Chris Gale. And, and you were inducted into the team as a uh, all-rounder? Yes. Okay. Uh, so when I look at uh, retrospective and look at your career, I see that you have laid, uh, played like 33 ODIs. Uh, international matches and you score some around 800 or 774 runs, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, it is good, but looking at your career and looking at your talent, I will yeah. say it is not great. Yeah. So, do you have any regrets or do you, when you look at back and say, okay, these are the things which I could have done much better? Um, uh, regrets are obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's this, I think this, the way our cricket was, um, I was man of the series in the first series, so that's what I offered mm. to this country. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously, the, then there's, uh, um, you know, that's a cricket board or there's an organization who takes you from there. Mm -hmm. So what we had, we didn't had much cricket. So whatever we had, we, you know, we used to, and I think um, that's how all the associate players pretty much in a similar fashion. They all had the same amount of games with the similar type of performances. So I I, I don't say it's, it's great, but yeah, okay. fair, fair, fair. No, why I ask this question? Because many talented players like you yeah. uh, rue the fact that uh, if there was much more or better infrastructure, more facility provided to players like you, more better competition, 
uh, I think your your status or your performance would have been improved. Yeah, definitely. That's what yeah. I said. Like yeah. I, I, I started with the, you know, whatever the talent I had. Limited. I started with that to uh, become a, a, mm -hmm. a man of the series. Yeah. And then after that, it's up to your organization how much they provide you to become uh, you know, more better or whatever. I agree. So, uh, coming back to one very important thing and uh, recently I also wrote a blog on this. Um, Cricket Canada always promote that and announce that they have sub, uh, some program called high performance program. So, during your time was it there or it was just recently started? Like, did you ever uh, found that it was very helpful for your career? I don't think there was before but uh, and I am um, not sure if there is any which you know you can call it a proper where you know the people are really getting better or really um, I, I heard it before and then not really. Yeah, maybe it is my bad because it started in 2014. Yeah. Or 2016, as per the uh, um, website of Cricket Canada. Okay. Uh, but I don't know whether they so have what, what renamed it or re-restructured some earlier program. Did and you find any information from there? No, there is, there is not absolutely no information except okay. for the fact that there is one gentleman from Nagpur mm -hmm. who is heading that academy, and yeah. I don't know the location of that academy. Yeah and uh, where it is physically located and how it is approached and how the communication is done. Yeah, there is no uh, information. Um, when uh, he came here, uh, I know this uh, Zubin Barocha name. Zubin uh, Barocha. Uh, yeah, yeah, he came and uh, first of all, nobody uh, at that time, uh, uh, I did not been informed to come to those uh, games. Okay. And uh, the last day I actually went mm -hmm. and what he asked me to do, hmm. I did better than all, all the other players there. Okay. And then still, uh, I think uh, for some from some reason, I didn't get picked in that team that time as well. Okay. Uh, not sure why, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he definitely, if uh, Zubin is around, he will probably tell you, because mm -hmm. he told me, uh, you, you know, the way you play, where were you before? Mm -hmm. So. Um, I'm not sure so what you, happened after. So you're not sure that there was no proper communication. What was the objective of the program? Nothing. Yeah, I think you just uh, been called uh, and you went there. Uh, was did you have to pay any amount or they paid for your training? No, I don't have to pay anything. But it just uh, you know uh, this is a very sad sad part actually. You know mm -hmm. we I've been around for ten years, mm -hmm. more than ten years for with the team, mm -hmm. and uh, there's you know there's no proper. Pr proper way to treat your players there's no you know because i i don't know why mm -hmm. maybe there's a uh, you know the people who are running the uh, are, are have some you know some grudges on some of the players or some 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 things are around they always uh, try to put you down there's no but no proper place to make sure the players perform or make sure the players do well there's, uh, there's no. Uh, Sometimes you know, it's so not only me. I feel it for other the players. whole team, for the for, uh, the for everyone. So the, so the th this is this has been the issue, and we have been raising this that when you look at the Cricket Canada structure, the way they select the people, the the way they, you know, uh, do the coaching, staff recruitment, and those kind of thing, it doesn't look to be very transparent and merit based system. It yeah. more. It looks like that somebody is choosing, picking and choosing. So, that is where our problem comes, right? Yeah. And you agree with that? Uh, you know, uh, I do not know about anybody else, but let me, I am going to tell you about myself. Mm -hmm. I um, I was the MVP in the last most division, valued most player. valuable player in the last Division 3 tournament I played for okay. Canada. Okay. And I just uh, not around the team, I just did not get picked. Mm -hmm. And that is. Uh, um, it's not, you know, obviously, if there is issue, mm. yeah, if I'm not fit, if I don't do good, mm -hmm. then it's fine. So, your, your, your test was all okay? Everything good? is perfect. Okay. I, I can, you know, I'm okay with the, so for the fitness. So, you know. was there any uh, formal communication to you before they drop you? There that is okay, uh, Rijwan, that this is the time, uh, we don't want to pick you or something like that, nothing. You yeah, just got dropped? They, they are, you, you know, you just get surprised actually. Okay, Some it was surprised. It was just a surprise because you know you, you, 
you won them a division mm -hmm. you know and then and you are talking about uh, the tour in north carolina before north before carolina they before. they went for division 2 yeah okay last year yeah yeah so they you know they they just tell you you know and 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 you're the one who was mvp in the previous one okay and uh, out of nowhere there's just just it's not about me mm -hmm. okay if i'm not doing well that's fine mm -hmm. but just think about cricket don't screw up your mm -hmm. you know your whole uh, i understand yeah a future of uh, so it means that you were not never you never knew that it is coming and yeah. you never knew it was it because of your fitness your age or your performance this they have never communicated to you absolutely okay. not now we'll come back to this and uh, we'll come to this after the break so we are going for a short break see you after the break Natural sweetener, flavor all. 20 flavors to choose from. The perfect substitute for sugar and artificial sweeteners. Flavor all by Greenish. Flavor all from Greenish. Now available at Rexall Pharmacies. Welcome back uh, from the break, uh, short break. So, uh, we were, as you know, we are talking to. Um, not we, rather I am talking to Rijwan and uh, we were talking about your career so far and uh, so from the player uh, then you become a captain of Canada, right? Yeah. So was there a process to become a captain, someone was grooming you uh, or Canada, Cricket Canada board told you that okay you are one of the guy we want to pick you or groom as captain or one fine day you, are be you become a captain of Canada? It's what was the process? Uh, actually, um, it was surprise always. It's always surprise. It is all surprise. Yeah, it's okay. always surprise. And um, I was actually vice captain in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So I was vice captain of the Shish for, for a while. So you assisted Ashish Ashish, Padai, yeah. And in World Cup, uh, I also in was India? vice captain in yeah in India yeah. in 2011. Okay. And um, yeah, it was should be a, a you know. Uh, fair and square thing but mm -hmm. then they made someone else captain at that time mm -hmm. because uh, you know uh, whatever reason and then um, you know th 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 the thing is the sad part is you know they they just want you to quit it's not only me it's mm -hmm. to everyone probably it's happening is there it's is a pattern to yeah, that, it's, right? it's, nobody really wants you mm -hmm. to you know do well it's it's you know they, they you know you you had, you know, they're, they're just waiting for you to do something wrong, do something bad, and then you know. You, you. So it's not not a. Uh, I don't call it a very good uh, process of helping people, helping mm. players to get w you know get where they actually. Yeah. You so there's no be. grooming. There's no help uh, provided from Cricket Canada to develop as a player. That's what you are trying to say. Yeah, I mean, they, I, I don't say not like total no help but mm -hmm. it's not the way it should be it should be okay. yeah so there's a there is a room for yeah you know you you have a, a tournament and then there's a s five months break in between mm. there's no practices there's no, no nothing, plan given no to nothing you. yeah and then you know you all of you know yeah, so this this is one of the biggest criticism cricket canada is facing but let me let me play a devil advocate role here because i always ask cricket canada to come to my show they never come so, sometimes I have to play the advocacy for them. Yeah. So, I am playing advocacy. Let me play it around for them. Mm. So, suppose if I am the chairman of the Canada cricket, yeah. I do not have money, mm -hmm. right? How you expect that yeah. there should be a consistency yeah. and there should be a, you know, a, a system where the merit is uh, valued yeah. and uh, still I am able to pay something to, the, to my players and yeah. the coach yeah. and uh, selectors. Yeah. So this is the you know this is the problem I always face uh, as a chairman of Cricket Canada. Okay. So, so do you think do you think the capital is a problem? No. The thing is, you know, there is never a money where you can make a living in this country with con in this country for, from cricket. Okay. And when used to be was less money, mm -hmm. 
everything was there mm -hmm. but now it's a more money mm -hmm. and then you know okay. so you are saying there. like there was less money 10 yeah. years back yeah but had a better system exactly or maybe 14 years back yeah but today we have much larger capital yeah or sponsorship and uh, even if, if if there's no sponsorship but we have money when uh, one club can get a sponsorship mm -hmm. How come national team can get a sponsorship? Yeah, that is a big question Cricket Canada should answer. Yeah. Like, you know, Why they are not getting a sponsorship? If you're not getting in, then there must be something wrong. Yeah. Okay, if you're telling us, you know, the, the team is not doing well, mm -hmm. how are teams going to do well mm -hmm. if you're not giving them, if, you, if they're not enrolling in, in the system of practice and of training and all those things? How you expect a guy to just start a training a week or half before the mm -hmm. big tournament mm -hmm. and go there and perform. Yeah, but I have also heard that there were sponsorship uh, from RBC, Skoshke Bank. Wow. Uh, I just don't know where those money went and wow. how it was spent. Uh, I have no insight mm. to tell that whether it was the money went to the right person yeah. or the right place or not. And I cannot just put a blame mm -hmm. unless I have a proof for that. Yeah, well and there is no transparency. So that's the another problem that we don't know where the money is being spent. Yeah, well, if if they got us something from some sponsorship, then it should be out there yeah. and spending on yeah. on, on cricket, right? So hopefully, Canada Cricket Canada Board is listening to this and they are trying to restructure their process and you know try to bring everything in line. Okay, that's only a suggestion. So. Tell me one thing very important yeah. that you, I see you as a bridge yeah. between the old generation player and the next generation player. Yeah. So when you see these two generation of player, yeah. what difference you see between the, the mentality uh, with the advent of social media, what, what changes you find in this, uh, the mindset of two different generation of players? I believe, um, you know, maybe the players, are, players before was much mature. Mature? Mature, the team was consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not in, uh, in too many changes always in the team. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, uh, just be, you know, every tour there are uh, three, four different guys coming so in. So team is not settling down. Team is not like you know. There is always people who's gonna worried about their their place. They're always gonna worried about you know other things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's what's going through the minds of selectors and all those people. Like you know, yeah. it's, it's just a uh, doesn't look. Uh, a very right stable to me, team. Yeah, there's no because you know how if uh, look at the USA today, mm -hmm. they brought in all their experienced people. Mm -hmm. Half of the team probably not a fit enough too, but they still brought them in mm -hmm. to reach their goals. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what thinking we have. Mm -hmm. We're just bringing in players. You know, I'm not against any player, mm -hmm. but you can't just back in the day. Mm -hmm. I was. MVP, uh, you know, um, player of the year tournament, player of the year for TND two years, and then there was an interprovincial tournament. I scored tons and tons of runs, scored three, four hundreds in a season. Still, they didn't pick me for the, the national team. Mm -hmm. So okay. nowadays, you so somewhere you score for. So you want to runs. say there should be a good combination of experienced player and the youngster. And has mix to be. them up, and then the team has should to be. be there's uh, there's okay. no there's no other option. There's you mm. know you, if you uh, if you look at all the teams, mm. that's the the way to go forward. The, the the way to move up. You can't change four players every time. Mm. You can't do that. Otherwise, uh, uh, you you won't have a good team. Okay. It's so you want a stability in the team and uh, sure. But uh, with regard to the social media activity. With the new and uh, young generation, what what uh, uh, you know difference you feel from the past player and the current lot of player? Because I see a lot of deviation and focus. They are not very focused. Is that a problem? I don't think they're not focused, but they they're scared. <laughs> if you ask me, they you know the players before were well obviously you know they they were mature enough and they were to stand up to their stuff, and now the, you know. These you know these players are not mature enough. They mm -hmm. they just you know they're scared. They they won't they won't say they won't say it if there is anything wrong. They won't say it. So mm -hmm. they you know uh, I think that's the culture of the team these days. Mm -hmm. Nobody will say 
you know, if, if, if they think this is good for the team, they still won't say it. Okay. Because they, they, they don't want to get into something. So, so why, why they are scared? Who, who, who they are? They're probably, you know, out of the team, they probably, you know, look at me. Oh. I, it's nothing wrong with my performances. Okay. Top performances, mm -hmm. you can check all the stats from other players and, I, and also mine too. Mm -hmm. I probably have the better, mm -hmm. but I'm not there. I'm sitting with you here. So oh, it's just you are sitting with me is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but so I'm just saying this is this is what the problem with the uh, system is. You know, yeah. you they just you know if you I'm not saying stuff for myself. It's not about me. It's about the team. So you need to make sure the team me, wins. Believe me, Rajwan, uh, we all accept the fact that it's not a problem of any individual in cricket board. Yeah. It is a problem of system. Yeah. Uh, People will come, they will go, yeah. but if we have a perfect system, yeah. we'll b always get a star and we always get a good players. Yeah. So now, uh, the very important time is coming for Cricket Canada. We are going for Division 2 qualifier right. in Namibia, right? Yeah. If we quali if we win there, then we'll become a ODI nation again, right? So very important actually. Very important, right? It's, it's so, so from your perspective, and you have like 10 years of ODI experience, what do you think that the, it will bring a new challenges for Canada in Namibia? What are the challenges for you from your perspective? I think challenges are going to be definitely because uh, um, if you look at our team, it's um, I don't call it very balanced mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the players, you know, there was no, I don't think there was any thinking behind when they selected them mm -hmm. in terms of how, how you pick a six openers in a team first of all, mm -hmm. and are uh, they had enough time to s get settled, are they have enough games mm -hmm. to get, okay, let's say even if you're not playing them as an opener, it, you know, playing them in the middle, are they, you know, if they got enough time, I don't blame the players, yeah. they didn't pick themselves, Yeah. but um, this, you know, the management and, and the selectors, how you how you picking this team? It it just confuses me sometimes. Mm -hmm. I you know th when I heard about me, I don't, I'm not there. I ask them ask questions. So they the reason they gave me, I don't even want to say it here because mm -hmm. that was uh, just a joke. So the the problem is, uh, um, I wish them well. Mm -hmm. I hope they do well, mm -hmm. but it's it's not going to be easy. Mm. Because uh, the other teams, you know, over so there. Except for the fact that there are six opener. Yeah. Okay. What other problem you see in the team? Do you see there is enough ballers for a quality baller, spinner or fast baller. Uh, we have different combination to make sure that we succeed in uh, Namibia. Well, I hope they work work it out because um, mm -hmm. the obviously th there there are spinners. Saad is there. Saad is there. Nikhil is Nikhil there. Is there yeah. yeah, and I mean, I hope they have a you know they they can uh, come up with some good combination. It's yeah. it's just uh, end of the day. Obviously, it's not going to be a joke tournament. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's Last important. time they had a lesser, uh, better team, so they 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 didn't go through. So this time, obviously, there are a few really better really team. good teams. Yeah. And do you think the U.S. will pose a biggest challenge there? U.S. is uh, I'm telling you, U.S. is they. Uh, I think uh, the the coach and the management they did really good job to mm -hmm. bring them make up. that good team combination of you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, really good experienced players mm -hmm. because they know this is the way they yeah once you up there then you start bringing new people new new players young players to to, to give the them a chance yeah. but to getting to the some some point there is always so going to be challenges so going to namibia and i think it is really very rough weather they are very hot correct yeah and uh, the pitches will be very dry and the, it break very easily uh, the the pitches there yeah they they have few grounds uh, which is one is good for pace mm -hmm. one is good for spin Spinners. and there was another one the new one that, that last time i went there it's decent. It's not. A, it's not as. Uh, it's, it's so very Saad bad. is a wrist spinner, right? And even uh, nickel. So I. They. I think uh, they'll probably be okay. They're not. Um, uh, they. They have played there before, so they should be okay. They have experience 
So you expect them doing well there? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. They're, they're, uh, they have to do well, otherwise <laughs> uh, we don't have any hope. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, one of the thing is that uh, let's talk about uh, the selection process yeah. in Canada, and I'm I'm always worried about it. And I think you are the better person to uh, inform us and tell us uh, because what I've seen that there is because my experience comes from India, right? Yeah. And in India, if you see the system is like they have five journal selectors, uh, they work around the corner and their job is to make sure that they select the team, yeah. right? And they are independent in the selection process. Yeah. Coach and captain comes, but they do not have any voting rights. Yeah. They give their input, yeah. they, they, they tell us that this is my objective, yeah. I want to meet this objective and I need this kind of team. Yeah. But the selectors are the primary stakeholder who make sure that they get the right team. Yeah. But nobody from cricket board of India or anybody else interfere. Mm -hmm. They don't have voting rights. Mm -hmm. They nominate a person to go and sit there. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. So it means that the process is very clear, transparent. Everyone has is, has a say to in in the selection, yeah. but not necessarily voting rights. Yeah. Only the selectors yeah. has the voting rights. I, I Whereas I see here that we have a n selectors, yeah. and I don't know why we need to uh, have m as many selectors. Yeah. Um, uh, Eighty percent of cricket is done in Ontario, right? Exactly. And Edmonton and maybe Quebec, some players. Yeah. You can just send a couple of selectors from here to keep and watch, and I don't know, maybe bring them here. Yeah. But point is, do they have independence? Yeah. And I also see another problem that the selectors are also engaged with the clubs. Yeah. So th where is the con there is a conflict of interest as well, yeah. and I don't understand whether they have independence to select the team. So do you see this is a real problem? Or I am just imagining. This is a huge problem actually. Actually, this is a this real is a problem. very big problem. Okay. Uh, you know, um, first of all, I I don't know what's going on because mm -hmm. because you know I, I'm going to give you my example uh, when I ask few of the selectors with my emissions the. Mm -hmm. They say they don't even know. They weren't even in that meeting. Mm -hmm. So who select the team? Mm -hmm. Like you and know how they select the team? Yeah, do they, they look at the data or exactly their past record? Exactly. How, how they select the team? Chairman selector is not from Ontario. Mm -hmm. He he's from somewhere where I don't know if there is. And he travels here every time I'd to watch uh, the players. He, no, he comes maybe if there is a tournament. You don't you know you probably see people. And what are the tournaments through which they pick the players? Super nine, super six. What Scarborough League, TDSA League? I think from there is no transparency. From T and D, the I T &D. what I know. Mm. Last time uh, when Chairman Selector was here, I was the one who scored the most runs in that tournament there. So I don't know what they see. So there is no defined criteria. No, they okay. they I don't think they that you know uh, that's why how you trust the system mm -hmm. when you know. You sh you you did well, mm -hmm. and you still still uh, not there. So it's it's. So it's do you think that uh, instead of calling a selector from Sri Lanka or India, right? Can't we make a committee or you know a committee of former players who played for Canada, yeah. like player like Ashish Bagai, yeah. um, Karun Jethi, or maybe others who has played for Canada in the past? They should be in the part of the selection committee. Look at the player round the years, yeah. make sure they select the right team, no interference for anybody else yeah. and they should be given an objective and a target. If they fail to meet the target, of course change them. I am not you saying know, that uh, you make a committee and they are permanent, no. This, this, is, this is in the whole world the system works like this. Yes, this is the perfect system. You, you have a job to do, you, do you it. failed, you, yeah, you, you go. move, yeah. next one comes in. Yes. It is only only thing they do it here mm -hmm. is with a national team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If players don't do anything, they kick him out. Yeah. But what about Coach, the what failed about performance of the management? Mm -hmm. If someone is not doing their job properly, if they didn't do, if they, the job is to bring the funds in, mm -hmm. they're not doing it. How come he's still there? So I'm leaving you and going for this for the break with this very valid question, you know, which Rizman Chima has raised that if there is no performance, why Cricket Canada is not answerable? Why no hit is turned there? Okay? So think about it. See you after the break. All 
natural sweetener. Flavor all. 20 flavors to choose from. The perfect substitute for sugar and artificial sweeteners. Flavor all by Greenish. Flavor all from Greenish. Now available at Rexall Pharmacies. Welcome back uh, after the break. Uh, as you know, we are in conversation with Rizman Chima uh, and we were talking about the situation in Cricket Canada and how he got selected, how he got omitted, those kind of things. Yeah. So, uh, very important thing and uh, in the past also some of the player who came to my, former player who came to my program, uh, they were talking about, uh, you know, working for the association of cricket. Uh, for the players and uh, they said it is very hard to do such kind of activity in ca Canada mm -hmm. because uh, your career is at stake, mm -hmm. right. So I I heard there is a rumor that in recent past also some of the players try to do that yeah. and they, they have to pay the price. Yeah. So do you have any knowledge about it? I think uh, <laughs> whoever do it in the, in the national team, it blames always comes on me. Okay, on you. Oh. And I'm on camera, I'm telling you, I'm not the one. You are not the one. I'm not the one who actually start things. But yeah, yeah. I'm the one who always, you know, if the team wants to do something, yeah. I'm with them. Okay. So, you so want to say that you have been dropped because of that rumor? Like, you know, if... Is that if the possibility? Yeah, you never know. Okay. Yeah, you never know. But the thing is, uh, um, I'm not... Uh, you know, gonna apologize for which is okay. But right. You, you want to say that if if such activity is started yeah. in Canada yeah. for the welfare of uh, young player or the players, former yeah. player, yeah. you'll always support those kind of activities. Definitely, because because you know, obviously there's nothing. You know, I think last time even what the the guys uh, mm -hmm. in the team, mm. it's not only a one person. You mm. know, end of the day, there there are uh, you know um, four or five newcomers always back out back out so the thing is uh, when they started they all you know get together mm. and they were all agree and they did and they put me in too mm. because you know they obviously they so i think cricket canada maybe there is a miscommunication a make making association does not mean that you are f uh, fighting on every uh, stuff it is to protect your rights yeah, obviously uh, the thing it, is it has to be protect, and your future has to be also protect. Like uh, I'm going to be honest, the last uh, what they, these guys decided was in in and what they what the agenda had they had it in a, in their mind hmm. in Barbados last time was to make you know they you know rather than everyone's talking to them, mm -hmm. let's make three people there you know hmm. as a committee who go and talk to them and discuss yeah. For issues. an example, if 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 Cricket Canada board, give me a contract. Yeah. Who is going to help me with the contract? Worry. So the association can help you. Yes. Yeah, the advocate I, uh, can help uh, you. But that's that if there is any clause which can be used for exploitation of the player, there is no absolutely no guarantee for that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So I think it is a very good thing if yeah. association is created, and uh, I will also yeah, I support think if from you the take media it as side. A, yeah, yeah. If you take it as a positive way, then it's, it's definitely a good thing. And yeah. But but if you think this is gonna if you only think on a negative way, you know, it's going to trouble you, then, then obviously... Yeah, the I agree. And why why you need to be worried? If you're not doing anything wrong, yeah, you shouldn't why you need to be worried about yeah. the... Yes. It's a good for uh, the environment. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So, now we are at the last stage of our program. Yeah. And this is... A, I want to make it a light so that we can laugh also. Yeah. So, tell me, who is your favorite teammates in current lot? Um, Do you have any favorites or everyone is equal to you? I am actually as a senior, um, I had fun with many of them. I mm. joke around uh, most of the time, most of them. So they all, you know, um, they all mm. respect me and I can always spend time with them. Uh, so I have a few mates. Um, Saad is there, obviously. Mm. Hamza is there. Ravi is there. Mm -hmm. He just came in, but he is a chill guy too. So he's, he's a... Um, so they are your Obviously, Cecil. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cecil is there. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. they are, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty chill with most of the... Oh, okay. yeah. Babbar was there before and Evneet. Yeah. And by the way, Cecil uh, was in the first list, but he didn't make it to the Sri Lanka. Uh, I don't know what happened. Okay. Yes, probably. Okay. Now, some very quick quiz for you. Uh, sure. Who's your favorite player in the world today? 
uh, A.B. De Villiers. A.B. De Villiers, yeah. why? Uh, the way he plays, he's a game changer, you know, every yeah. time he's, he's, he's... He has many thoughts. He's, 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 he's unbelievable yeah. kind of athlete. He's and I sub, uh, okay, uh, Saeed is not playing nowadays. I thought Saeed would be your favourite. No, he was no. actually... Um, Shahid, obviously, I yes. played with him. Yeah. And he's, he's a different type, but um, A.B. de Villiers is obviously... Is your favourite. And there. who is your ideal, all-time idol? Uh, Imran Khan was Imran there Khan? before, yeah. Uh, now he's a Prime Minister. He is, yeah. <laughs> And who? Is, what is your personal uh, favorite film? Which uh, you like to watch the Toy and the Gladiators. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's and uh, any personal favorite for actor and actress? Uh, like from Pakistan, from India, from Hollywood. Yeah, um, um, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. And yeah, and uh, Amir Khan. Amir Khan. Yeah. Okay. And why you like Amir Khan? Uh, he make few. You know, um, uh, the movies you make, obviously, they have some message in there. Mm -hmm. It's not only uh, entertainment, but definitely always a message. And he's a great some artist. Some kind of, you know, obviously, he's a good actor, too. Yeah, okay. So, now, uh, like this is the end of the episode. And uh, one last question. Yeah. Uh, and it should be a very honest answer from you. Uh, now, you have come to a certain age, right? Yeah. You know that no player can last, like, ever... Green like nobody yeah. is like uh, play till yeah, play fifty or forty five. Play, yeah, yeah, everyone. I know you are fit. Yeah, uh, you you can play, and you are much better than most of the players in the yeah. team. Yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. But what is your thinking now? What is your future plan? Uh, uh future plans. I, I, I just uh, uh, announced the uh, cricket academy. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you started yeah, cricket, cricket, cricket academy, and then uh, uh, obviously still uh, one. Uh, you know, this is what I did all all my life, and had few other stuff in terms of business and stuff. Mm -hmm. I settled, you know, a few things here and there, and then still wanted to continue playing until I can, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, maybe give gonna give year or so to so see. Let's how it, how okay, it goes. Okay, so there's no plan to retire. Yeah, uh, as no, not as such a retirement yet, because you know, I always believe you know what I'm gonna do to retire and do. Hmm. If you can, I'm the guy who would never go to the ground if I cannot, mm -hmm. if I'm not good enough. That was the, the issue always with me and uh, that's the issue I always fight with the management too. You know, you need to provide people to no, get right. better, not just so uh, participate. So, you believe that you still you have something to contribute to Cricket Canada? Uh, and you want to play for another one and couple of years? Yeah, I definitely have uh, a lot. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been going around playing the leagues in the US and, and doing well mm -hmm. and doing all what I used to do mm. and even in the last uh, T20 tournament in, in the US you did well I'm the one uh, you know was judged yeah, MVP so, yeah. yeah so it's, it's it's going okay so until it's going okay you don't need to mm -hmm. think anything else yeah I won't I, w I don't want to be there if I cannot mm. I cannot do anything so you know uh, until I'm, I fail, I, I, I should play. Okay. Yeah. So, here's the thing. Uh, Rijwan is not calling it uh, the day yet, uh, but he will promise me that whenever he wants to do, he will come to my program and announce the retirement. <laughs> uh, before, uh, but have you informed uh, Cricket Canada that you want to play? Uh, I didn't tell they them. No yeah, they, they, they just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they have anything they like that. They won't ask you. Yeah. Okay. They, they, I can tell them to come yeah, and, okay. and okay. see my fitness, see my yeah. perf performance and everything. Yeah. How can they tell me? Well, uh, from our side, we can wish you all the best. Uh, hope you do and contribute a lot more for Cricket in Canada. This is my wishes and from my team wishes. Uh, you. See you next time. Thank you, Thank very, you very much. For Thanks coming. for having me. Thank you. Thanks. 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 This might be out. Taken comfortably. That's a good catch in the deep. One run needed. This might run away to the boundary.